Hey guys, Gizmodict here and today we are checking out the 2016 Paranoid Android ROM for the OnePlus One. Recently, the Paranoid Android team announced its comeback into the custom ROM space and they are now officially supporting the Nexus lineup as well as the OnePlus lineup along with a few other phones. They have a ROM out already for the OnePlus One and today we are going to check it out. So without any further ado, let's get started. The Paranoid Android ROM is basically based on pure stock Android, so you do get the vanilla Android experience like an Nexus device. It is based on Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow, and although it is stock Android, it does have some amazing new features. After installing the ROM and using it for the first time, you quickly notice the smoothness and the fluidity with which the phone operates. The ROM is very smooth and it is completely stable for daily use. The Paranoid Android team has tweaked a few things here and there and we are going to start off by talking about the quick settings menu. So inside the quick settings menu, you can now rearrange, add or delete the quick settings by just dragging and dropping them, similar to what you do with apps on your home screen. It is a very minute feature but it comes in very handy when you are arranging the quick settings on your phone. This ROM also has support for a lot of lock screen gestures as you can see on the screen right now. There is double tap to wake here but double tap to sleep is not supported. You also have a choice here to switch between the hardware and the software buttons like you do with all the other OnePlus ROMs. Immersive mode is a very cool feature that is there on this ROM. When you activate the immersive mode, the software buttons as well as the status bar disappear and you get to use your full screen for viewing content. You can choose to hide both the navigation and the status bar or either of them. You can completely utilize your screen this way and whenever you want to access either one of the menus, you can swipe from the bottom or top of the screen to get them back. The next feature which is probably the highlight of this ROM is called Floating Peak. Floating Peak lets you open an app on top of another app in a small window. You can activate Floating Peak by going into the multitasking tray and then clicking the Floating Peak icon or you can also tap on the floating notification of an app to create a Floating Peak window. It is a quick way to interact with someone or checking emails without exiting the app that you are currently in. However, this feature is still not complete I feel because a few apps did not work with the floating window mode but I'm quite sure that it will get better in the future releases. You also have Cyanogen Mod theme engine here which is great because I always miss this feature when I'm using some other AOSP based ROMs. Also, all of you exposed framework users out there would be happy because this ROM does work with exposed modules and in fact I have the Android NFI module here which makes the UI look like Android N. Finally, the default camera app is the Snapdragon camera it only supports 1080p videos, but you can flash the OnePlus camera to get 4K recording back. There are a lot more features like Pi controls in the Paranoid Android ROM, but they are still not available on the OnePlus ROM. The future releases would probably have them. It's good to have Paranoid Android back in the custom ROM space and they are really doing a very good job. The OnePlus One performs well on this ROM and while I haven't tested the battery life extensively, it seems to be quite decent. I will be making more videos about this ROM as more updates are out and if you'd like to see an installation tutorial for this then please let me know in the comments. Do give this video a like rating if you liked it and also subscribe for more awesome content. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.